Welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. And for this video, I would like to talk about the muscles of the head. First, we have the frontalis, which is here. It's in your forehead, basically. That's the frontalis muscle. Um, the cranial aponeurosis is this whitish area here that goes from the frontalis all the way back here to the occipitalis. The cranial aponeurosis, that's what I call it, that's what I've called it for years. Um, the galley aponeurotica is another term for it that is in the textbook I'm using right now. The occipitalis, I already pointed to. The temporalis is here, near the temporal region. The masseter. On this model, the masseter is right here in front of the parotid salivary gland. It is your big muscle of chewing that you can feel on your cheek when you, when you chew something. Um, on here, it doesn't show up a whole lot. It doesn't have a big footprint because it's covered by this gland. That was the masseter. The orbicularis oculi is the circular muscle around your eye. You can think of it as the muscle of squinting. The orbicularis oris, you can think of it as the muscle of kissing, because it allows you to pucker your lips. The zygomaticus, there's a greater and lesser zygomaticus, and they are your smiling muscles. If I put my sticker here for my students, just put zygomatic muscle or zygomaticus, that's fine. The buccinator, on this model, it's this muscle right here. And that's not really a good, true description because the buccinator is actually deeper into the mouth. But I think it's an important muscle for you to know. It's very important for infants. Um, it's what allows us to suckle. You can't make suction without this buccinator muscle. Sternocleidomastoid, on this model, it's right here. And I will also show you the sternocleidomastoid on our larger muscle man model because I think it looks better on there. Excuse the camera movement, I have to get my pointer. Um, this is the sternocleidomastoid in his neck. It literally goes between the mastoid process on the temporal bone uh, down to the sternum, and that's where it gets its name. 